Hi, and today I'm going to show you how to change a front wheel bearing on a BMW E38. Uh, I'm going to show you a few tips and tricks and uh, what tools you should use. So uh, here we go. I have taken the wheel off and now it's time to take off this uh, caliper. And when that's loose it's really important to attach it somewhere so it won't hang in uh, the brake hose because it could get damaged. You can choose, you can either use this scroll with a pipe to get uh, it off. The bolts are sitting so tight that I use this 16 millimeter and uh, this hammer to get it off. So you see right here right now it comes loose pretty easy. So it's just like that one and that one and you should be good to go to uh, get off the caliper. Yeah it's too tight for uh, it's too tight for this. So what we're gonna do now is we're actually gonna use this scroll right there. Like right there. And once it's loose, you can just use this tool to screw it really fast off. Like that. And when that's done, the caliper is now loose. And we are going to use these, uh, I believe they're called strips, to hook them up somewhere here. So, it, as I said earlier, it won't hang in this brake hose. So, brake hose will be it will be damaged if the caliper hangs just like free falling in the air attached to just the brake hose so we're going to attach these strips to the caliper and like hook them up in uh, the spring or something so let me show you just do like that and you can uh, extend it by using two it will be easier and once the caliper is attached there and hanging free in the air. Uh, it's time to take off this uh, hub and we're going to lose it by using this uh, flathead uh, screwdriver. It's okay if it gets damaged because if you buy some new wheel bearing you will get a new one so it doesn't matter if this, this gets broken you can always put on the new one. So let's start to take it out. Before I'm taking off this hub I'm going to lose uh, the brake disc first so we're gonna get that attached from the wheel bearing it's really important so I'm just gonna lose that screw right there which is holding the front brake disc in place. Yep, right there. This is the wheel bearing. And if you listen to it, it's worn out. It shouldn't make that noise. So you will hear the difference once it's changed out with a new one. It's not a good sound at all. So now we're gonna change it and I take off this uh, cap. And that, that's the hub. The next step is to lose this uh, lug nut right here. As you see, we got to save the pins or we got one safety pin right there we're gonna unhook that and uh, screw that right out you're gonna use this pipe to get that lug nut off 46 millimeter and attach it to this one right there but it comes off eventually so with this tool I'm going to try to push this out and I'm using this lug nut because this hole is too huge for uh, this pin there because that will eventually when attach it there I will turn this around and it will push the whole bearing out but this pin is going in here so I'm going to use this attach it here and then turn it around because it will be like this and the pin will be in there let's try we're just gonna go for these two and let's see how it goes oh in those two bolts so once this is attached, which is a spe special tool, you can buy it at a hardware store on eBay. Uh, I got it on a local hardware store, so you should just check it out where you can get it. Next step is to start to twist this around to get the wheel bearing off. And uh, let's see if it will get off. So as you see here, I'm going to just turn this around. And if you see right here, it will go out. I think it's coming right off. Right there. Nice. So what I actually did was to heat up this bearing with a hair dryer so the metal will get much more hotter than uh, the axle. And right now I'm going to spray the axle uh, a little bit so it gets cold and shrink. And when this is so hot it will expand. It will, as I said earlier, it gets so much easier to get uh, the bearing on. So right now I'm going to just get this piece of metal cold and the axle will shrink in size uh, because metal will shrink when it gets cold so I also get this spray on a hardware store you can get it anywhere it's like really common these days to have a rust spray to get a spray uh, to get to get the rust easily come off so already this is really cold 
So I'm going to wipe it off. I'm going to try to put on a new blueberry. Yeah, that's a good temperature. It's really cold. It's really cold. Let's see it if it'll fit right on. So what you can do as a trick is to take a pipe and just like attach it right there and carefully hit right there. As the previous, as the old one, is going smooth, real smooth. So once that is done, you guys pretty much know what's coming up right now. It's it's like doing everything only in the reverse process. I'm going to show you that, you know, we're going to change this uh, lug nut. As you see, there is a tap right here, which is not on this one. So we are going to make sure that we are like making a tap right there with uh, my angle grinder to uh, to lock it in that position right there. Okay, so we make that tap and uh, we're ready to mount it on. If it gets super tight, the wheel bearings gets hot and it will burn out and get destroyed. So we don't want to do that. But as you see this notch right here, if I'm tighten this one to a certain level like that, the tap will fit right in and in that notch right there. Right now it's good clearance. It doesn't need to be too loose or too tight. You're going, you're going to feel that notch and use uh, the, uh, the old lug nut as a reference to, you know, find when are you going to fit that notch that's the sign when you know you're gonna stop to screw the nut so once that done you can carefully just tap this little thing right here like that and as you see right now I'm I have locked the nut so it's safe it won't twist around or get loose so the wheel wearing comes right off with the wheel and disc you know this is pretty crucial because the disc brake disc and everything is attached to this so you have to secure it with that and it's really important this old one this old cap is replaced by a new one which is really common to get uh, in uh, this uh, kit wheelbarrow kit carefully just that's how we change uh, wheel bearing and uh, right now I'm going to mount the brake disc and the wheel caliper and the brake I'm going to end I'm going to mount the brake caliper and uh, yeah that's pretty much it I hope you guys enjoyed my wheel bearing video and I hope you get used for tips uh, if you're going to change the wheel bearings on your E38 so uh, subscribe for more and uh, if you like uh, cars and music subscribe to my channel hope you have a good day see you later